Next stop on the Casual GTX Cup Series Tour brings us to one of two races to one of two races in a row that we'll have at Indianapolis here. This is the Indianapolis Short Track we're at here today. Otherwise, here formerly known as IRP, now named Lucas Oil Raceway. As we're here today for the running of the, excuse me, for 60 laps of action on this racetrack. The short, the Indy Short Track, I should say. Lucas Oil Raceway, of course, this short track is sits, sits, uh, in a full, is a multi, in Lucas Oil Raceway is what I'm trying to say, is a multi-purpose facility that sits, um, where this, where this short track here sits next to the drag strip. It's home to the NHRA U.S. Nationals. It has been every year since 1961 on Labor Day weekend. So we're here, but the but the point six eight six mile short track is the focus of the day. As, as we're set for six, as we're set for 60 laps of racing here today. And on the pole it is Kyle Matthews in car number nine, the winner at North Wilkesboro this season. He's alongside Levi McIntyre in car number 99. Is alongside second row sees Charles Sanford number zero three, and beside him will be Seth Cohen number twenty five. Charles and and Seth will both carry in car cameras in today's race. Third row has Zach Rogers in number six and Matt McIntyre car number fourteen, who won the last race on the tour at the Colorado Short Track. <coughs> Next row Dylan Young in number two and number seventeen Jesse Turner. Next row has John as Johnny Gardner in car number sixteen, and beside him will be car number thirty nine Keith Batson. Next row has car 69, Kev Shear, and number one, Trent Dunham. Kev won a season at Richmond. Next row, Joshua Osborne, and number 10, he is alongside Ryan George in car number 30. Next row has the only three time winner season so far, Quentin Moore, and number 89, the Racing with Jesus Boss Hog Barbecue Ford. He's alongside number 24, Tower Deaver, in the DuPont Chevy. Next row, number 12, Mitchell Collins, and number 22, Dylan Pote, a pair of Dodges on that row. Next row has Cole Deaver, number three, the GM Goodwrench Wrangler Chevrolet winner at New Hampshire this season. Beside him will be number 19, Rob Evans. Next row has a couple of ladies. Je Jessica Shelton in car number 11, the Boaz for Ford. She won at Martinsville. She also won the second dual race at Louisville Motor Speedway in Louisville, Kentucky this season. And she's alongside the, the lady who shocked them all in the Pepsi 400 this season here, Kate Anderson in car number 88, the GM Goodwrench Chevrolet albeit not a, not the same team as Cole Deaver drives for. Next row, number five, Phil Parker in the Quaker State Chevrolet. He won the first dual race at Montreal this season. He's alongside Angel Navarro in car number 44. Next row, Jake Emerson in number 01 and number eight, Matt Haas. Next row, Mason Wood in 52 and number 43, Mike Becker. Next row has number 18, Nathan Hudson. Hudson won the season at 600 at Charlotte. He's alongside number... 48, Jay Jefferson. Next row, Ty Taylor Gertison, 41, and number 70, Kat Batson. Next row has number 91, Jordan Anderson, and number 76 is on the outside. Inside of him is number 76. It's Ty Dent. Next row has Nikki Martinez in 42, and number 84, Cassie Dent. Next row down has number 4, William Brock, and number 20, Cole Baker. And starting shotgun field, be car number 59, Zachary Fitzwater. Winner, this, winner, winner at Talladega this season. He's alongside number 97, Zach Winkle, in the John Deere Chevrolet. We should mention also Fitzwater won the first um, the first dual race this season at Louisville Motor Speedway in Louisville, Kentucky as well, as both he and Shelton led from wire to wire in those two races, much like the same deal at uh, Montreal where Phil Parker and Joshua Osborne did the same thing. So... But the Indy Short Track is the focus here today um, in at the Lucas Oil Raceway here. As the next race on the tour will also be at Indianapolis. We'll be, we'll, we'll be about 10 miles up the road at the famed Brickyard 400 at Indianapolis Motor Speedway. So you get two Indy races in a row. I was kind of wanting to do the Indy Short Track, uh, Indy, the Indy Road Course, but, the, but it, would have, it would have to have been another dual race because that road course don't even hold 40 cars neither, believe it or not. And plus, it was uh, hard to try to figure out without it being either a, without it being a wreck fest. <clears throat> so the field is lined up here on the at the front on the front stretch. Here. So we're about to get the uh, command to fire the engines here for the for, for this race. Command given the party engines as we get set for racing here today. 60 laps of racing. The field will roll off and begin the pace lap. As 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 they do that, we'll we will 
Be back for the green flag right after this. Field heads through turns number three and four as we're about to get as we're about to get the Lucas Oil 300 underway at the look at Lucas Oil Raceway. Field comes off turn number four as the green flag will fly, and we are underway at the Lucas Oil at Lucas Oil Raceway. <coughs> Mentioned two of the in-car cameras will be carried by Josh by will be carried by. Charles Sanford and Seth Cole. The third in-car camera today will be carried by Johnny Gardner. Those will be our three in-car cameras in today's race here at the Lucas Oil Raceway as Kyle Matthews leads the first lap. Second is Levi McIntyre. Sanford goes to third position. Fourth is Seth Cole and Matt McIntyre runs in fifth position. Sixth position is now Zach Rogers as the, as the front six cars are have broken away here. Dylan Young up to seventh position as he tries to get by Jesse Turner for position. There's a battle between the two and the 17 cars here. Johnny Gardner's in in ninth position. Tenth is Keith Batson as he battles with Kev Shearer for that position. There is Batson in 39. He tries to get by Gardner on the outside of the track here as he tries to follow, follow through with Jesse Turner. And the yellow flag will fly for the first time here at the Lucas Oil Raceway. As the um, first caution of the day flies, and upside down, Jake Emerson in 01 has crashed as his uh, U.S. Army Chevrolet somehow got upside down through the third and fourth corners here. And as he and Rob Evans that got together in the, uh, the 19 and the 01 cars. Take a look as to what happened there. Emerson was running inside of Kate and was about to make a move, was making a move inside of Kate Anderson for position. He squeezes Kate between himself and um, Rob Evans. Kate gets away unscathed though, but Evans and uh, Emerson that's uh, not the case here. Emerson's car ends up on a slider right there. There's a better angle right here. And it's almost like uh, Emerson's car. Evans is just bulldozing Jake Emerson's car. I don't know what that's all about, though. I'm sure uh, Rob not the least bit pleased with Jake Emerson after uh, after this whole ordeal. And, um... Everybody else getting... Everybody getting a good view of the undercarriage of one of these cars in case they want to know what they look like in, <laughs> under these cars. But, uh, nonetheless, though, Jake Emerson upside down, and he is okay. So, caution number one flying here at Indianapolis. As Emerson sits on pit road as the field goes by. And officially now Jake Emerson's out of the race. Just as you rejoin us, the green flag will flies back out here. We're, as we're back underway on lap number 9 here at Lucas Oil Raceway. And the Lucas Oil 300 as, as Kyle Matthews continues to lead. Second is Levi McIntyre. Then Charles Sanford, Seth Cole, and Matt McIntyre. The top, ten, the top five, excuse me. Sixth is Zach Rogers. Seventh is Dylan Young. Eighth is Jesse Turner. Ninth Keith Batson and, jo and Johnny Gardner runs in tenth position as the green as the field comes off turn number four. There's a look at the Batson in the red thirty nine and Johnny Gardner in the blue and white sixteen. Ninth and tenth on your screen right there. Eleventh position right now belonging to. Well, by just a couple of feet, it's Kev Shearer. Trent Dunham is in 12th. Dunham coming off a great second-place finish at Colorado Speedway to see uh, last race on the tour. 13th is Quentin Moore. 14th is Mitchell Collins. 15th, Joshua Osborne. 16th is Tyler Deaver. 17th is Ryan George. 18th is Dylan, y is Dylan Poteet, excuse me. 19th is Phil Parker. And 20th, battling for 20th, is Jessica Shelton and Kate Anderson. Going out of her position right there. And Kate gets right into the 44 car of Angel Navarro. Angel, I'm sure, I'm sure not at least a bit pleased over that move coming through one and two. Navarro's probably like, what was that for, Kate? And that move also and that little move also let Jessica Shelton buy her. So Shelton up to 20 position now, as she now goes low on Parker for the to pick up another spot here. Jess currently leads the points coming into this race at Indy. In the, in, the, in the short track, at least. 
but she could hear the thunder coming from some, from some of the other competitors or points wise. Like, we should be in for a heck of a race for the championship for season for season twenty seven. And every point you can earn, though, it can, can, can come a long way in this points hunt, too. Doing Poteet, of course, on the outside of the racetrack here, now trying to get by Phil Parker. Lane seem to be kind of even grooved here at the Lucas Oil Raceway short track here, and as they go through turns one and two, meantime, up, as, up ahead of Poteet and uh, Parker also sees Tower Deaver and... Um, the 30 car of Ryan George going at it for position. That's 16th and 17th on your screen. <clears throat> now Shelton gets shut up. Now Shelton gets moved up the track here as now Anderson goes back down low. Kate Anderson, that is, in number 88. 20th and 21st on your screen right there. Poti way up the track in the 22 car, right in front of Shelton. Matt Haas is right there behind. He's in 22nd position. 23rd is Angel Navarro. Now Navarro moves Haas with the track. Says, yeah, I'm away. I'm trying to pick up spots here. Mike Becker behind him. And so you got three Pontiacs in that mix right there. 44, 8, and 43 cars. Mason Wood in that mention of 52. And now Nathan Hudson goes low in number 18, trying to pick up another position. And now finally, Parker tries to go low, tries to get by Poteet again. Jess trying to give him a little bit of help right there in that red number 11. Boy, Anderson giving Shelton a bit of a bumper massage here going through turns three and four here. She's letting, she's saying, let me, she's saying, let me by Jess and Jess saying, over my dead body you will. And Jess gets back, moves on the high side of the racetrack here, tries to, tries to move away from Anderson. But she stays down low, and now, meantime, uh, 44 car of Angel Navarro trying to push Jess right, trying to push Jess right by, and Jess again keeps that 20th position. So Shelton not making it easy on Kate Anderson to try to pass her. Back to the leaders right now. Back to leaders, you're riding on board with Seth Cole in car number 25 as he runs in the fourth position behind uh, behind Charles Sanford, Levi McIntyre, and the leader, Kyle Matthews. So they go through turns number one and two right now. Car staying single file here through the first and through the first few positions. There's Ryan George who gets finally finally holds off Tower Deaver for the moment. Meantime, Joshua Osborne gets by Mitchell Collins. That's that's 14th and 15th on your screen. Osborne in number 10, driven to honor Chevrolet. Collins in the number 12. Pennzoil Dodge as they go, as they come through turns one and two. Collins trying to stay behind, trying to trying to get, trying to find a way around Osborne for position. There's the rest of the field you're seeing right there on your screen. Rob Evans trying to get by Cassie Dent in the 84 car, trying to pick himself back up through the field. And Colt Deaver has slipped way back in that number three car. Deaver is now back in 39th position. So something amiss, obviously, with the number three GM Goodrent Chevy. So the season 21 series champion having a lot having all kinds of problems here today at the uh, Indy. I don't know if they miss a setup or what on that good rent Chevy, but but something not right for the Deaver team. 
As we go back to the front, Kyle Matthews continues to lead this race here. Number thirty, number nine, Melly Yellow Pontiac. You remember it was Matthews won the, um, or should I say, dominated the race at North Wilkesboro in the first Union Four Hundred earlier this season. As as stands as his only win so far, he, he's, he's going for two. Is going he's going for a second win of the season. Here at the Indy Short Track, he's never won at Indy before. Here, he like to, he would like to grab the Brickyard, obviously, but um, but here today on the Indy Short Track, though, looking pretty strong here today. Levi McIntyre, his only win of the season came at Nashville at the National Super Speedway in the Opryland 320. Charles Sanford, his only victory in the season came at Sonoma, California. They see him in the 03 Vanilla Coke Chevy. Sanford down, Sanford down in 17th in the points coming into this race here, but looking to, looking for some good runs here to to, to um, move him back up in the points. Right there behind Seth Cole, he like he like to get he would like to get a win before the season's over as well too. He's been running strong this season too in some races. But has not yet found the key to victory lane this season in the Flat Out Racing Network Chevy. Saint different different saying though. However, for Matt McIntyre, number fourteen Auto, Advanced Auto Parts SKF Ford. McIntyre this season has won twice. He won at Colorado. He won the, at the at Colorado National Speedway, the last race in the tour. He also won at Michigan this season as well too. So two time winners so, winner so far. For Matt McIntyre, as he as he's looking strong too, and uh, strong too here today at Indy, runs in fifth position right now. Behind him, though, Zach Rogers. He's got he's he, here. He's running in sixth position right now in car number six. He's been solid this season as well. Again, too. Rogers, one of the top contenders in this series. Obviously, the last few seasons he's been has won has won his share of races. As has the guy behind him, Dylan Young, at number two. His winning season came at Homestead Miami Speedway in the Ford EcoBoost 400. And um, right there behind him, Jesse Turner, who won that tremendous finish out in California Speedway this season. He runs in 8th position. Ninth is Keith Batson. And 10th is Johnny Gardner with Kev Shear behind him for position right now. And you're looking right from behind Johnny Gardner's car, car number 16, the Crowley Food Chevy. Cab Share running in 11th, Trent Dunham in 12th. And you see him right there behind Quentin Moore in 13th, Joshua Osborne in 14th, and Mitchell Collins running in 15th at the moment. Those all the five of those cars right there behind Gardner as you're looking from the rear bumper cam of car of Gardner's car, we're looking right at the the green and yellow, the green, the green and white car of Kev Shear. Gardner goes to the low side, trying to break, trying to trying to use the slipstream on Kev Shear. No, he's to the low side. Something's, I don't know if it's something. I don't know if Gardner's wanting to try to run the low side of the track or not, though. That. Uh, here, Kev Shearer, of course, uh, kind of fell for that trick, and now he goes. And now he goes to the high side. Here comes Trent Dunham down low in car number one. Dunham looks low on on Moore's car, trying uh, on Moore's car, trying for position. Quentin Moore actually trying to pass Dunham on the low side, and oh, Prime's in turn number one. Trent Dunham gets into Joshua Osborne and takes them both into the wall. Major damage to the number ten driven to honor Chevrolet, but that's not the same. That's, the, that's not that's to say nothing about what, how much damage Trent Dunham's got on his car right now. Dunham in the number one car. Let's take a look at this, what happened here in turn number one. Dunham was running in thirteen position. And he just drive. He just drives right into Osborne's car number ten, and sends them both into the wall. Dunham getting the worst of it, obviously, and. All um, Osborne's got on his car was a tire mark on the number 10 driven the Honor Chevy. 
Joshua might continue on, but Dunham, unfortunately, his day is about pretty much screwed. So, and they're both sitting on pit road, and, they're, and, they're, and their pit roads are about next to each other, and I'm not sure if the crews are screaming at each other or what, but wouldn't be surprised if that were, if that were the case, but I say Joshua is going to have a little, I say Joshua might be asking Trent what was the, he thinking on that one there, as Joshua gets, comes off pit road, 35 miles an hour for the number 10 car. Joshua was running in 14th when that crash happened, Dunham was 13th. At that point. <clears throat> and Trent is officially now out of the race. So as the field comes off turn number four here, we are, we're going to get one more lap till the, till the green flag here. Joshua Osborne right now running in 10th position, or running in 38th position. He's a lap down now, so... So, 37 cars are now on the lead lap. Excuse me. And, um... There. Cole Deaver's now... Actually, I should say now, um, Jesse... Uh, Jay Jefferson's now the uh, last car on the lead lap here. I was gonna say Cole Deaver, but... But, um... There you go. Restart happening here. It'll be on lap number 45 here. Kyle Matthews leads in Levi McIntyre, Charles Sanford, um... Seth Cole, Matt McIntyre, Zach Rogers, Dylan Young, Jesse Turner, Keith Batson, and and Johnny Gardner, the top ten as the green flag flies are back underway. Matt McIntyre getting a good run on Seth Cole on the, on the start here. Seth goes low and Charles Stevens throws the block on him. And now they're gonna try and now they're gonna try to see what happens on the inside lane here. And Sanford trying to get around the 99 car of Levi McIntyre. But Osborne, but obvious, but obviously, um, Sanford has Osborne trapped, or trapped behind Osborne, I should say too. Seth Cole goes to the high side, tries to get, tries to make some headway, and does not do so. Now Sanford goes low, loses contact with Levi McIntyre. Sadly for him, McIntyre escapes for the second place run now, and now Sanford tries to. Still trying to get by Osborne. Seth Cole's now trapped behind him in the 10 car. And now Matt McIntyre and Dylan Young tries to make headway through uh, on the inside lane. McIntyre goes by. Here comes number two, Dylan Young. He tries to go by. Johnny Gardner following him in the 16 car. Again, the 10 of Osborne not on the lead lap. Here he's in he's in 38th position right now. But meantime, Matt McIntyre's picked up fourth position now in the number 14 car, and now Dylan Young moves up in the fifth as he tries to get by Seth Cole for position. There's that, there's that whole gaggle of cars back there. Young is in sixth, Seth Cole seventh, Rogers in eighth, Johnny Gardner ninth, and now Rogers goes low, tries to get by Seth Cole. He will tr he will do so or try to do so. Dips slow on the racetrack here. Now it's a drag race between the two on the on the back stretch. And Johnny Garner now tries to help Zach Rogers a little bit now. And here comes number 39, Seth Cole. Or I mean, 39, Keith Bassett, excuse me. Made more bloopers than Marty Reed in this episode. But anyway, they got a lot of battles going on back there here. Keith Bassett anchors that 10 position right now. Kev Shearer now tries to get by Jesse Turner for position now. That's... 11th and 12th. I should say now, now Batson's running in 9th, Turner's 10th, and Shears in 11th right now. Behind him, Tower Deaver in the 24 car running in 12th. As we're now 9 laps from the finish now, Kyle Mendes continues to lead with Levi McIntyre, by the way. And now, whoa, Quentin Moore and Dylan Poteet almost touched right there. That's 13th and 14th on your screen. Parker in 15th, Colin 16th, Shelton in 17th, and 18th car matching, 18th place car matching his car number is Nathan Hudson. Now the Hudson's still going to try to take 17th away from Shelton, and here they and come and right there behind Shelton here, her and Kate Anderson back at it again in turn number one.
And now Dylan Young and Zach Rogers going out of a position here. Rogers comes to the inside of Young. He, Young gets a little bit loose going into turn number one. This is for fifth place on your screen. And that front four cars of, of uh, Matthews, McIntyre, Shelton. I mean, Matthews, McIntyre, Samper, and um, Matt McIntyre. That's They pulled away here. And now Zach Rogers was in the fifth position. Now, now Seth Cole goes underneath Dylan Young. And Seth shoves Johnny Gardner up the track, and Johnny loses a couple of spots here. He moved first to Seth Cole, now to Keith Batson, maybe to also to Jesse Turner. Boy, Gardner uh, just um, a little bit looser on the high side here. Now Seth Cole goes inside of Dylan Young for position. Darn pace car. And Seth moves to the low side. Gets past Dylan Young. That's for sixth place. Dylan Young running in seventh. Keith Batson at the eighth position now in the Motorcraft Ford. Well, you get up on that high side here at Indy, though, on this Indy road course, you're screwed pretty much. Now Matt McIntyre now tries to race with Charles Samber for, for, for third position now. As we're now already coming down to two laps to go now in this race here. As as Levi McIntyre now tries to, tries to hunt down Kyle Matthews, but... Matthews is... But, for, but so far for Kyle Matthews, Matthews has been smooth sailing so far here at Indy. Another lap, another lap and a half to go in this race here, and for the Melly, for the number nine Melly Yellow Pontiac, Matthews came in this race fifth in the points coming into this race here at IRP as he sees the white flag waves. One lap remaining at Lucas Oil Raceway in the Lucas Oil 300. Matthews won a season as we mentioned at North Wilkesboro, the first Union 400, a track similar to this here at, at Lucas Oil Raceway here. And they must have brought the same setup with him from the he won with it Wilkesboro because he is because he is awfully because he's looking awfully strong here today. Kyle Matthews wins the Lucas Oil 300 at, at Lucas Oil Raceway. Matthews from the pole to the podium takes the victory here today on the Indy Short Track as he. Takes his, as he moves his way on the pit road, Levi McIntyre comes home second, and in, and in the Hoosier State, the race, the and and attract and in the state known as the Hoosier State, the Buckeyes sweep the one sweep the top two spots, as both McIntyre and Matthews both from the state of Ohio. I want to say said neighbors Indiana if you know your geography, but anyway, average speed ninety three point three oh nine miles per hour here. Third will go to Charles Sanford. Fourth will go to Matt McIntyre and Zach Rogers comes home in fifth position. Seth Cole was 6th, 7th was Dylan Young, 8th Keith Batson, 9th Johnny Garner, and 10th was the 17 car of Matt of Jesse Turner. So that completes the 25th race of the season as um we um as we go from this track to the Brickyard 400 next on the tour. The rest of the finishing order for you here. Kev Shearer comes home in 11th. 12th was, was Tyler Deaver. 13th, Quentin Moore. 14th will go to um, Phil Parker. 15th will be Dylan Poteet. Mitchell Cohen, 16th. Jessica Shelton, 17th. 18th will go to Nathan Hudson, matching his car number. Angel Navarro, 19th. And Kate Anderson will finish in 20th. 21st will be Taylor Gertis and Mason Wood 22nd, Mike Becker 23rd, Ryan George 24th, Matt Haas comes home 25th, rest of the finishing order for you here. Cole Baker, Ty Dent, Rob Evans, Jordan Anderson, and Jay Jefferson the top 30. Excuse me. Then it's um, Jordan, then it's um, Cassie Dent, Nikki Martinez, William William Brock, and Zachary Fitzwater, Kat, uh, Kat Batson, Cole Deaver, and Zach Winkle was the top was the cars that finished on the lead lap. The only car to finish a lap down was Joshua Osborne in the 38th position. Cars out of the race, Trent Dunham and Jake Emerson were the cars out of the race here today. So that will do it here at the Lucas Oil Raceway here. If you like what if you like what you see, if you like what you see here, be sure to subscribe to the NSC to the NSC Sports and Gaming channel. 
We got everything in this channel. We got inter we got interests. We got gaming. We got gaming videos. We got in our online videos. Whatever the president of the NSCRSF NSCRSF Cold Desires for his channel, be sure to be sure to check out Seth's Door Cell Cup series, which is on his channel as well too. Here, be sure and you will not regret checking that series out. And I guarantee you, he's, he does his research a lot better than what I than what I do as well too. And also, please check out some in our online stuff on this channel as well too. So that will do it here today at the Lucas Oil Raceway. Congratulations again to Kyle Matthews, the winner of the Lucas Oil 300. And for now, this is James Paul. This has been a production of the NSCRA. Offline racing at its best. We will see you at the we will see you at the Brickyard 400 at Indianapolis Motor Speedway.